Hey guys, welcome back to the council. Uh, for those of you who don't remember me, my name is Mason. I'm here with the North Youth and Family Services to provide an online experience to an after school uh, boys program that we offer um, in the Norwich area. This week's topic is gonna be healthy competition. Um, so that's me, so let's talk about it. Uh, so what is healthy uh, competition per se? Healthy competition to me um, is the ability to find the balance between having a competitive um, edge to, to win a game and you know strive to do your best, obviously. Um, and then the, the ability to not take things super serious uh, and not be destructive to yourself or your team or, or the people that you're playing against even. So I think that a good example of this, uh, where I see, see it mostly is in sports, obviously. I feel like that's an area that you guys seem to really connect well with and resonate with. I know when I was your age, that's pretty much all I thought about all the time was just, you know, playing sports. And um, I learned a lot through sports. There's a lot of lessons that you can you can learn through sports. There's life lessons that are, you know, are par parallel with certain situations that you get put in through sports. Um, the biggest one, I think, is the ability to, to deal with um, losses and not let a loss or a bad performance ruin your whole, uh, your whole experience playing playing the game that's what playing sports and you know competing with one another should be about yeah winning you know is nice and it is important to to some extent but i feel like the experience of of just competing in general is is what really matters um and that should be you know kind of the focus when when competing that's when when you stray away from that that's when things can get unhealthy in a sense and you can, you know, get a little too obsessive with with winning. And that can lead to fu uh, future problems down the line. Um, but I wanted to talk about some pros and cons of, of competition in general. And so you can kind of see where um, the divide is between healthy and unhealthy competition. You know, some good aspects of um, competition is, you know, developing self self worth, you know, seeing that you can you know, find fulfillment in doing well at something, you know, whether it's, you know, having a good game in terms of scoring or, you know, you're having a really good defensive game or you're hustling and you're just, you're that, that player that is, you know, leading the team, you know, and just kind of, kind of just finding value in whatever sport you're in. You kind of find self, self-worth in a sense. Um, you also develop skills like working together as a as a team to to come to an end goal you know if you're if you're playing basketball or baseball it's a team sport you know or even football you need you need everybody on that team to to do their part and you know work together towards um the end goal of winning um but if if that gets taken to an extreme that can kind of get, get in the way of things you know you can run into an issue where you want to win so bad, but the way you're communicating it with one another isn't in a healthy way. And, you know, you kind of can be uh, destructive, uh, excuse me, destructive to one another, you know. Um, you don't want to put people down. You you should, um, you know, encourage them to do better. Don't tell them, hey, you suck. You should, you should be doing this or that. You know, talk to them like you would want to be talked to, like, you know, they're part of your team and we need, you know, you need their, you need them to be the best they can be, you know, and you should encourage them to be the best they can be rather than discouraging them and, and putting them down. Cause that's not gonna, that's not gonna help anything. Um, I also think that a fear of losing kind of comes um, with competition. If not done right, you know, you gotta accept the losses for what they are. You know, you're not gonna be perfect all the time. Um, but if you can learn to understand that and, you know, be okay with not winning every single game all the time, you know, then you'd be okay. And, and, and moving forward in life, you, you will be able to deal with certain situations better, uh, because of it. Um, it's something that you have to, obviously losing, you know, is never fun, but, um, it's not the end of the world, um, for the most part, you know what I mean? I've lost a lot of uh, a lot of sports games, um, but I've won. You know, you you win and you lose some, but it's all about just how you handle it. Um, 
and learn from those mistakes and, you know, just make sure that moving forward, you know, you do your best to win. So, you know, you don't lose again. Cause I, like I said, losing's not fun. It's just kind of part of, part of life though. Um, so I want to talk about how you can do your part to engage in healthy competition. Um, pretty much you just have to, you know, focus on what you can do um, in terms of being a good teammate in, in a good sport, you know, like I mentioned earlier, if um, somebody isn't doing great on your team and you need to, you know, you need them to, to pull, their, pull their weight so you guys can, can win the game, don't put them down and make them feel worse about themselves. They're just gonna eventually, you know, play worse or even get to the point where they don't want to play at all. And, you know, we don't want that. We want to encourage everybody to do their best. So, you know, just tell them, you know, hey, you were doing this wrong. And, and if you change this a little bit, then I think you could do, you know, you'd find a little room of improvements or just just encourage each other, you know, be a, be a leader. Um, take the initiative to step up and be the person that, you know, leads the team in the right direction. Um, you know, and hopefully you're not the only one who does that and other people on your team, you know, do the same thing. And it's, it's all about just, you know, respect for one another and encouragement to do things well as a team for, cause for the most part, you need everybody on their team to contribute, um, to be successful. So just healthy communication and, you know, just focusing on, you know, the experience rather than the end goal of winning as an absolute consequence um, is is pretty much the best thing you can do. Um, and if you see other people, you know, getting ragged on by a teammate, you know, step in and say, hey, that's not, you know, your place to, to say that, he's doing his best, you know, just be a good advocate for um, yourself and your teammates. All right, um, it's getting a little long, so I'm gonna wrap it up right here. Uh, I wanna talk about the activity for you guys that I thought would be great. Um, I know that when I was um, around your age and in middle school, we had like a field day where we would have like a 50 yard dash or a water balloon toss or j just, you know, kickball stuff like that. So I was thinking if you guys um, had siblings or, you know, trusted adults that you felt comfortable having like kind of a little field day with, I think that would be great for you guys right now. Um, try to focus on the experience rather than um, the sole goal of winning and just uh, try to you know, have a good time. All right, the question of the day is, if you guys could play for one professional sports team, who would it be and why? Um, yeah, reach out to each other um, if you have each other's phone numbers and um, yeah, talk about it if you want. All right, guys, that's gonna be it. I hope everyone's doing well and staying safe and uh, I'll see you next weekend.